就是患者能够更。More recently, however, we found an increase in breast cancer in young women under 40 years of age. And this cancer is different than the historical cancer, just as prostate cancer in younger men is different than in older men. The factor that is similar in both of these is inflammatory. For example, in younger women, specifically under the age of 30, it is the HER overexpression, HER2 overexpression, that drives the tumor. And in these cases, often uh, women have much poorer prognosis. This uh, study was done by Mar Maru in 19, uh, 2004. In uh, the JCI, Wicca looked at how blocking the uh, inflammatory receptors in HER2 expression reduced uh, tumor volume. So one of the things we need to look at is the nature of cancer itself is changing over a period of time. And specifically, it is becoming more uh, involved in the overexpression of inflammatory markers. Change the slide. <coughs> Historically, uh, Dr. Shin talked about the Gurkhaf and his uh, concept of inflammation. But also, in, uh, in historical, in TCM, we look at the factors associated with inflammation and we look at toxic heat. Chen looked at tumor necrosis factor, interleukin-6, and other inflammatory cytokines, particularly interleukin-1, as being key factors in the growth of tumors. Next slide. Uh, this goes back uh, to the uh, uh, 60th, uh, 7th century, and we see here historically where there is qi and water stagnation, we have the growth of tumors, we have the beginnings even this uh, 1400 years ago, an understanding of how stagnation of qi, stagnation of fluids, leads to uh, in increasing inflammatory markers and toxic heat. Next slide. Infection and chronic inflammation contribute to about one in four cancer patients. Mediators and inflammation responses, there are cytokines, free radicals, prostaglandins, growth factors, and these induce uh, genetic changes, epigenetic uh, function. One of the factors that we're seeing today is a lack of uh, exercise and overconsumption of food where there is visceral adiposity. Then you have with visceral adiposity an increase in estrogen levels, you have uh, an increase in growth factors, and you have a dysregulation of blood sugar levels and uh, uh, factors such as uh, type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance all which drive inflammatory factors. Next slide. Chronic inflammation induced by biological, chemical, or physical factors, and many of these are lifestyle, uh, activates several oxidant-generating enzymes. They damage the DNA, the RNA, and uh, the, the proteins, and the destruction, uh, destruction of proteins, and, and particularly uh, heat shock proteins. Next slide. A substantial body of evidence supports the conclusion that chronic inflammation predisposes an individual to cancer. Chronic inflammation predisposes an individual to cancer. And, of course, the prognosis in cancer with uh, inflammation is uh, significantly worse. The association with chronic uh, inflammatory diseases, for example, and uh, uh, colorectal cancers. This is also true of uh, uh, stomach cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer. And we're seeing also, although this we're talking about breast cancer, uh, we're seeing uh, some of the factors of breast cancer is a uh, xenoestrogen. And uh, the exposure of women to xenoestrogens, that is environmental estrogens, through uh, various kinds of chemicals in the environment, which again stimulate uh, the factor. Also, many women are failing to uh, achieve pregnancy in their uh, early years and waiting until their 30s and sometimes their 40s. And this long-term exposure to estrogen, where women are um, going into menage at the age of 12, as opposed to historically perhaps 16, is another factor associated with this uh, inflammation. Estrogen is a growth factor. Inflammatory mediators contribute to ne uh, neoplasia by inducing uh, pro-neoplastic mutations, adaptive responses, resistance to apoptosis. One of the factors, again, when we look at in terms of inflammation is the fact that uh, inflammation promotes angiogenesis. 
the, uh, and uh, reduces apoptosis. Next slide, please. Cytokines, free radicals, prostaglandins, growth factors. Inflammation of risk scores associated with cancer-specific mortality. Next slide, please. The tumor microenvironment, which uh, Dr. Shin talked about, is shaped by the cells entering into it. Their functioning reflected in the local conditions and successive changes occurring in the tumor site. We all know that, uh, or understand that at the basis of any tumors is uh, stagnant blood. And that this is 